Hi, I'm Ken Welch on behalf of the Legate Auto Group, and tonight I'm at the 11th Annual Burlington Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony, and tonight is a very special night for the Legate family because the late Don Legate, who was a Canadian champion squash player back in the day, is one of this year's five inductees. I think it's been, it, it's amazing. I mean, I think, in fact, he would have liked to have been here, obviously. Oh, he, he would, he would have, yeah. five years ago, he would have said, hey, I should have been in five, yeah, five years right. ago by now. Now, did you guys, you know, at a young age, did you realize that your dad was a pretty big deal in the world of squash in Canada? Oh, yeah, he made it pretty clear to us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and his friends did, too. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I remember he used to, once in a while, he'd come home and uh, he'd show us bruises on his legs from the ball hitting him. And the ball was so fast that uh, these guys, would, every once in a while, you get in the way of it. In fact, he played in the world's uh, world doubles. I think it was 70 plus. I think. Well, yeah. senior, I can't remember seniors, now, which one it was. But that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I know there's yeah. a big turnout of uh, Leggett's tonight, so this is a really great night for the family, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's excellent. Uh, like a lot of the inductees, did this come as a shot out of the? Left field, or well, it's not something you're you're counting on happening. It's just it's it's really nice. And uh, did I know about it? No. Uh, and, am I thrilled? Absolutely. I was on the national team representing Canada internationally for 13 years. Um, went to seven world championships, and um, yeah, 1996 was my third world championship, and I won. I tied for first place on that, that, so it was my debut Worlds, too, for double mini trampoline. When I started with the Thai Cats, the team physicians were industrial docs. They both worked for Stelco, because then it was an employer-employer relationship. These guys worked in heavy industries. They were used to people banging themselves up and needing stitches, and, and, and that was the thought of treating athletes back in those days. I mean, they were great docs, and they took me under their wing and taught me a lot. But they were my initial me mentors, but sport med sort of grew out of that. The only way to reach your full potential in this world is to surround yourself with people that you trust and believe in and that believe in you. And I think sport teaches you what that environment feels like. And, and so the insights that I got from growing up in this wonderful community and playing football are uh, across all my life, not just sport.